What's up, Cereal Bells? It's your favorite crazy cereal, Insane Applejacks, here once again with the Atomic Game Squad. How are you all doing? Because I'm doing super duper chill. It's great to be back here, as always. Hopefully you all are doing well as well, because today it's time for another video. And you're like, another one? Really, Apple? Another one? Do you really think it's time for another one? Do, do you think these boys can handle it? And I'm like, yeah, these boys can handle it. I got, I got videos. I, I, I'm not gonna say I got videos for days because if I sit up here and I accidentally miss a video day, you guys are gonna be like, what happened to videos for days? And I'm gonna be like, well, I meant video for day. But um, anyways, today we're here to do a rant video and today I'm feeling very meh about DLC. And you're like, DLC, Apple? DLC? Why DLC? And I'm like, well, d down downloadable content. And you're like, yeah, I, I know what downloadable content is. I said, why, not what? Get your grammars in the correction. Well, uh, you know, auto autocorrect. And there was some delay in scientific, magical bs coming from the sky. And, oh, okay, okay, I'll just get into the rant. Anyways, the reason why I'm ranting about DLC today is because a lot of the games that I've been playing lately, while some of them have had some really good DLC content that seemed like it was actually worth the cash, others that I've seen my friends invest into, or even I've looked up and decided rather or not I wanted to invest in the season pass, I kind of just sat there and I was like, oh no, never mind. I'm, I'm good. Because DLC is one of those things where it's a really gray area of hey, this could be really good, or, oh my god, please stop ripping me off and stealing my money so I can buy more of your other games and get ripped off and have you steal my money. But, uh, essentially, what I'm saying is my real issue here isn't with those games that seem like the DLC comes after the thought process of the actual game, and this is some add-on that comes on later down the road to reward those that really enjoyed the game, enjoyed the world, and all these other beautiful aspects of the world. And they just want to sit up here and continue living in that world or universe of this game just a little bit longer until a possible sequel or maybe something else comes out. But it's more so a gripe with those games that have DLC content that either seems useless overall, is pay to win, or... It's one of those things where the company's like, oh yeah, so you know, hey, that game that you're playing right there, that, yes, that, that one that you played right there, that cost you 60 bucks of your hard-earned cash, yes, the $60, I remember the transaction, I gave you $60 for fun, and they're like, yeah, see, halfway through that fun, there's gonna be a, a screen that says to be continued, dot, 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 and then there's gonna be a big blue flash of light that says, for forty dollars <laughs> and I know with that price being dropped there you guys probably know one of the games that I'm hinting at and dissing with this little rant but essentially one of the reasons why DLCs can be so hit or miss is because in a lot of cases the DLC either isn't as long as it promises or as intricate as it promises on a lot of pages when you sit up here and you look into dlc the issue is that there is little to no description with very few images of the dlc or what what actually happened if anything is actually shown it'll be probably very baseline border entry clips of what may happen in the dlc and while trailers are always nice i won't admit and say that trailer trailers 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 always sit up here and give me enough info for what i should expect and then you force me to go online and watch somebody play a little bit of it just to get a hint of whether or not i want to buy it but you have the nerves to charge me an extra 10 to 15 dollars for expansion and i'm not saying that 10 to 15 dollars for expansion on a story is bad but essentially i want some information of what i'm getting into strike number two is season passes season passes really annoy me as of lately like i enjoy season passes and i used to condone them I'm the guy that sits up here and goes to pre-orders and you're looking at him, you're looking at me like, um, th this guy, he, he's been in line for like eight hours and he's had the game pre-ordered since 
three years before it was announced, and now he's buying season passes before DLCs even told about. You know, maybe this guy's a little bit of an idiot, but in all actuality, I usually have fate in the game that I'm hyped about, so why not buy a little season pass and get ready for an extended period of content? But recently, I've been burned by a few games. I'm not going to say their names, but legitimately, the DLC, you buy a season pass, and this is a common issue. You'll buy a season pass, and you'll only get three packets of content. Now, one of the content packets will sit up here and be something that you got for pre-ordering the game in the first place. So, strike number one is... DLC that's actually very useless in the sense that either in some way you could have got it for free before you actually paid $20 for a DLC or two it's useless because it doesn't add on to anything overall. The fact that I have to pay for an expansion of something that's so minor as oh get a pre-order gun when you pre-order here or do this and you get this extra thing. But hey, by the way, it's totally going to be up for sale for like $4 in a few months. And had you just sat up here and waited so the price had dropped to $39 in those few months and you would have paid that extra $4 for the DLC, you would have been a lot happier than sitting up here talking about some, I got exclusive, I got exclusive, but it's time. And you're like, come on, Jack, exclusive, exclusive. And essentially, it's just an issue of, please, make up your mind of whether or not we are going down this route of actually having DLC that brings purpose to life, or if we're just going to make these crappy DLCs. I don't mind having DLCs such as costumes or stuff. But please, don't make your DLC costumes cost 2 or $3 talking about, oh yes, and yes, it took our artists many hours to put the fine lines and intricate designs on a costume. Yes, I get that. I understand. I appreciate that. But don't make, what, I want to say 26 costumes, $99.00 for a game, and then you sit up here and you charge that over and over to about Yes, but they're costumes. Cuz, costumes or fine little detail item accessories usually don't make up but maybe a few kilobytes, millibytes, bytes, you know, s some form of bytes, you know, Tostino bytes, Frieza pizza bytes, some, some kind of bytes, you, you get the point here worth the data but companies want to charge it and ask you like you sit up here and you just ask for a whole game i mean sometimes in these cases you can sit up here and go to a game store and find a older game on a different system worth like four or five dollars and that comes out to the equivalent of these costumes that they're charging you four or five dollars for and you're like i just got a 60 gigabyte game mind you it's not new but for the price of a costume so price for value in actual in actual DLC content. Next up on the chopping block, since we kind of skimmed over season passes and went back into it, is the sense that you make a season pass and initially it's a price. It's a set price, like twenty something dollars or twenty let's say thirty dollars just to be safe and then you say oh yes we're gonna be releasing content over the next year for this game based off of this DLC season pass that you chose to buy and you put so much faith into this development company oh yeah well see we released one we released one pack six months after you sat up here and you bought the game in the season pass and then we released one pack at the end of the year. Bye! Everything else is not included in your season pass. And then we just scaled the DLC that you got from the season pass accordingly to the season pass's price to make it seem like you actually got your money's worth. But no, no, it's, it's cool. You're good. Essentially, it's all a chain of lies, redirections, or useless information that adds on to the data that's all stolen off of your system. In all actuality, the only things that I really see myself buying that are DLC nowadays are things that add on to actual missions or things that can help my experience slightly faster. I mean, one thing that might fit into this, uh, and I said I wasn't going to name names, this pay to win 
idea is Dragon Ball Z Xeno versus um, Pax for the move sets. How you set up here and you invest in moves to level up a little bit faster. But essentially, since you can level up without any of that stuff, I don't consider that or count that. It's more so for those, oh yes, buy, put real money into virtual money so you can buy a packet of something and hope that this random packet of something actually contains something. But since I was a little uh, over with this video before I pass you guys over to the end of the box, what I actually mean is good DLC is stuff like campaign DLC, maybe every now and again a costume, but please don't charge me around $8 or so talking about, oh yes, this costume right here, even though the costume doesn't do anything but act as an alternate costume, no changes or anything like that, but costumes still fall into the goodness. Every now and then, I'll say characters are cool, but essentially, if it should be in the game, use common sense. Don't don't be like, yes, this gun, you know, this final gun that you get from the final area, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, put that in the PlayStation Store, $29, put that on the Xbox Store, $29, put that on the PC, you, well, they, they gonna hack it in, so, they don't even care, they, they just gonna hack it in, but, um, yeah. I'll send you guys over to the end of the box and hopefully you enjoyed this. Mwah. And we are back at the end of the box where we just sat up here and finished another super duper amazing video. Thank you all for sitting up here and watching this video. Big thumbs up to everybody that watched this video and super duper big thumbs up to everybody that watched this video all the way through. Like I said, I appreciate you guys just for checking out my content. If you enjoyed this video, sit up here and give me a big thumbs up. Or if you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know whether or not this is something that should be improved on. If you have any comments, as always, leave them comments down below. It could be hello, it could say what's up, it can be about the video or just the topic itself. And I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. If you're looking for any of my social medias, they're on the screen, but they're not clickable. If you would like to check out the links and just click them, they're down below in the description for your liking. But with all that being said, I'm done. Much, much, much. Peace out. And that's a wrap. Later, nation.